guys, it's Jerry here, and today we're doing We Talk Anime Talk The Sky of the Sea Edition. So, in this series, I basically just talk about all the animes I've watched and what I like about them, what I don't, the their flaws, or whatever, just everything in between. And let's talk anime The Sky of the Sea Edition. So, this anime is really cool. A synopsis from a girl who knows not that much about anime. It is a group of girls who want to be space fishers so they can each for all their different reasons bring more fish and show bring more fish to earth and to show that girls can do what boys can do and become a space fisher as well as all the little journeys that happen in between they battle big battles and they have to find a way to all become friends together as Five strangers are put into this group exercise to become space fishers to hopefully become a team to show that women can do what men can do. And that's my synopsis of it. But I recommend just reading all the synopsis on it anyway because I have not great at synopsis. So, pretty much, let's just talk about the sky and the sea. It's a phenomenal anime that goes into depth about what would happen if the earth ran out of fish. We had no more fish all of a sudden. We ate them all, they all disappeared, whatever. What would we do? So, their plan is to um, fish in space. They have different planets that are solely just for fishing upon and they have a core group of people who are trained and almost go through like space training. They train day in and day out so they are fully equipped to go and, you know, fish these fish up in space. It's such a weird concept to talk about, but it is such a phenomenal anime. It goes into a little bit of feminism. It does a lot of like funny little bits here and there. The characters are quite funny and interesting the way they all at a clash or some get along, some don't. And there's everything in between. And the characters are just absolutely phenomenal where they're designed and they're written. You get a little bit of Japanese history as well, and you get to learn a little bit about the characters as you go along with the seasons that, pardon me, the seasons that occur. So I believe from memory there's only one season out right now. Hopefully there will be more because I reckon this would be such a good seasonal anime because it is a phenomenal anime. I haven't heard a lot about this anime, but again, I don't know much about animes in general. I saw this upon looking through my anime list that I was on which is Anime Lab and I was looking at new animes to watch because I wasn't sure what to actually watch. So I was scrolling through and I picked up five different animes. This one caught my eye because it looks really interesting. The name of it was curious, I was curious and the name did absolutely nothing to what the anime is about. When you think of the sky and the sea I thought it'd be kind of slightly romantic. Oh honey there is no romance at all. There is only the love for bringing fish down to earth so that people can eat more fish. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, but it was really cool just to be able to watch it and watch these five strangers who have no idea nothing about each other slowly become friends or at least acquaintances to friends to a team and watch them go up into space together, help each other out when they need it and just get the fish that they need. And it's such a beautiful anime. Anime anime recommendations or anime scaling. I give it a 8 out of 10. Just because it really, for me it's one of those animes that is really good. But I feel like it needed more. It needed another season. More. I don't know. I just feel like it wasn't giving me enough to work with. Like yeah. It was a really great anime to watch and I love it a lot. But I was like I need to know what happens next. I need to know more about these characters. I want an in-depth story about each and every character. It goes quite into detail about some of them, but I felt like I didn't get to see... Like, it talked about little bits of each character to make them relatable or not, or why they're this way or not. But I'd love to know more about in-depth character. That's me in particular. I love in-depth stories. And for me in particular, I just felt like they weren't quite in-depth. I'm also curious about how they make these planets so they can go fishing in them and all the things like that. I'd love to know more about those in particular. 
but I definitely love the anime a lot. Let's talk about characters. <laughs> so there is a male group and a female group. The male group has been around for a while, they're the main fishers of this anime, but there's obviously the girl group as well who we mainly focus on, where you want to, you know, you follow their journey. You get to interact with the boy group occasionally, um, actually a fair few times throughout the anime, but at the end of it, it's mainly the girls who you focus upon and you follow their story. The guys in the anime, aka the boy group, some of them are real nasty characters, but you needed that to kind of balance out the story because I feel like if you had no mean characters, it wouldn't make any sense as to why the girls are striving so hard to become an all female fishing group. Because without that, the mean characters, without the backlash that they get, without all of the limitations they get, it would just be like, well, they should be able to do this. It, it wouldn't make any sense. So, having some of the guys in the all guys group be kind of mean and nasty does fit really well like sometimes you can have a mean character and you're like they just feel out of place or they're too mean things like that and the more you learn and the more you watch the more it makes sense as to why they like that and you can definitely see in the guys group there's a couple of the characters who you know are very chill and relaxed and don't really care which is really good to see and in the girls group there's a variety of different things which is really cool too Sorry about that, I had to do a quick cut. And you get to see variety of characters like that. Overall, the anime is just absolutely fantastic. If you want to see girls in bathing suits, or if you just want to see a really cool anime where there is fish and swimming and, you know, drama and just all around awesomeness, I recommend watching The Sky in the Sea. You can watch it on Anime Lab or Crunchyroll, wherever you watch anime. It's really good, I recommend watching it. But again, up to you. You can watch whatever you want to watch, but that's my recommendation. Anyway, let me know in the comments below any animes you want me to watch that may be similar to The Sky in the Sea or just any you recommend at all. This has been Let's Talk Anime, The Sky in the Sea edition. And thank you all so much for watching. If you liked it, let me know in the comments below. Anyway, drop out, guys, in the next video. Whoop! Sorry, guys, I'm out. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. See ya. Bye.